Hello everybody, my name is Saki and today I will be showing you how to decorate an ordinary chopping board. First I've painted my board with acrylics using decoupage sponge. I try to use the same color as on my napkin background. When everything dried out, I've applied thick layer of Mod Podge, but you can use any decoupage glue or PVA medium. Just make sure you apply it evenly. When everything is dry, we can start preparing our napkin. Remember to separate layers before gluing. Golden rule is always to use top colored layer. Leave edges a little bit longer so we can sort this out later. I'm using iron to glue my napkin because my board is flat and this is the easiest way. Apply napkin on top of your board, cover it with baking paper and start ironing. You need to set your iron between two and one dots and switch off steam function. When everything is cool, remove excess napkin with help of fine sandpaper. Now we need to seal our napkin. In order to do so, apply one coat of acrylic varnish but make sure your chopping board is cool. You can see that the background of my napkin is still slightly different than background of my chopping board so I will be using acrylics and I try to match it little bits of cream, purple and black should do the job
I painted edges with dark purple as well. This creates frame effect to my board. Now sweet home rice paper. Make sure to tear it out, not to cut it. Background of my board is light pur purple and background of my rice paper is white. So after you glue it and dry it, add little bit of cream and purple paint around Sweet Home sign, just to blend it well. When everything is dry, apply several coats of acrylic varnish. Make sure you sand it down with fine sandpaper between two or three coats of varnish. This chopping board is ready to be hung in my kitchen, but I have decided to add vintage lace across it, as I still wasn't happy about that border between napkin and the rest of my board. And last but not least is adding some nice rope. So what do you think? I hope you like it. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you soon.